guys welcome back to another video of mine today is going to be a pretty long one and uh, mostly a studio vlog kind of uh, video because last week was the opening of my little online store where I sold uh, my comics and I have a lot of uh, footage of me packaging and having problems and figuring things out and uh, things getting done and I will have this little speed paint thingy of a watercolor humming fluff that I did in my sketchbook yesterday as a backdrop, uh, backdrop, backdrop every now and then when I'm just talking about something but yeah it's mostly gonna be a video of me working in the studio on uh, on all of the orders that uh, people put in over the weekend and uh, just in case you happen to be new here a uh, quick introduction i'm minna i make a webcomic called stand still stay silent it's a adventure story kitty's meowing <laughs> set uh, in the nordics a post-apocalyptic adventure and um, yeah, I just uh, got volume 3 printed. I've been... Kitty! <laughs> She's in the sauna, she just ate. And uh, you guys know that she likes meowing in the sauna after eating uh, once a day. But yeah, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's try to focus anyway. But yeah, this um, spring I have been really hard trying to get volume 3 printed. I saved up money for it, to pay for it, and uh, I got everything set up for the online store and lots of work. And uh, this week, or last Thursday, it's been about uh, a week, uh, was the opening of the online store. Alright, I did it. I opened the store. They have all of the images for the items. Um, I have um, info if your order gets lost. Oh, I <laughs> didn't update this one. Hello, this is my shop. It's where books are for sale. That was my placeholder text. <laughs> hey, good enough. It's uh, it's correct. But yeah, it's it's live now. Um, I only have shipping options for as this says Finland, Sweden, Estonia to start out with, because basically. Um, I don't want to get into a situation where it turns out that there is some horrendous problem with my shipping options or something and uh, then I have like a hundred orders to different parts of the world and I end up in a bad situation so it's better if I just have a few to you know domestically and the two closest countries with the cheapest shipping options and um, I probably won't get too many orders this way either. I have no idea how many orders to expect. Not too many, I don't think. The only benchmark I kind of have uh, going from how many people might buy one from Finland is um, my very first Indiegogo for book one. Um, I think I had 81 orders for book one from Finland. It's been years since then though, so it's hard to kind of expect anything the reader base for the comic has grown like several times over it's like three times bigger something nowadays but on the other hand um that was from like a period of like a whole month this is just gonna be a few days to test things out so that's gonna cut down the people a lot and only people who already have book one and book two are gonna want to buy book three also, the comic is in a break right now, so a lot of people are checking in on me and the comic. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be expecting like uh, 10 orders over the weekend or 30. Like it's, uh, I mean, either way, it's not gonna be too many for me to handle. And that is the whole plan right now, to just do a soft launch, test things out, make sure everything isn't broken. And uh, maybe a, a couple of people from Sweden and... Uh, Estonia maybe I think uh, over the years I had like five orders from Estonia and I don't think there's too many <laughs> it's a tiny country 
but uh, yeah I I will check in with you guys later once I know how things are going I sold one book <laughs> and also one test item that I sold to myself for one euro and to make sure the payment stuff actually worked and I was willing to cash out all this money for it all right I'll see you guys later and now I have to think about actually shipping this one book out <laughs> so right after the opening I ran into my first very big problem with the launch and uh, that was with the payment processor apparently like an hour before I opened all of the credit card and other international payment processing thingies went out of order and um, the only way to pay was through Finnish bank payments you know direct whatever it's called and obviously that is going to cut down on the amount of people who can order a thing from me quite a lot I guess uh, Swedish uh, and Estonian people won't be able to buy stuff anyway it's gonna be just domestically for Finnish people because uh, today um, all of these things are out of order mobile pay, American Ex Express, MasterCard, Visa uh, basically all of the international payment methods uh, are having issues right now for some reason for the whole day so yeah <laughs> So that's a good start, um, not that I was expecting too many uh, Swedish or Estonian orders anyway. But yeah, soft launch, only Finnish orders today. Sorry for that. <laughs> Nobody outside of Finland could buy anything. <laughs> and even in Finland, most people like paying with credit card and not use their bank directly when buying stuff. And uh, I was like able to see orders coming in on the dashboard and when I had gotten to like 12 or so orders during the first day I could also see another dozen or so orders that had gotten all the way to the payment uh, part of the checkout and had to cancel and you could see what they had to try to pay with and credit card anyone who had wanted to pay with credit card just had to cancel their order and uh, yeah obviously that was like a huge bummer for launch day to not have people being able to actually buy things with uh, regular paying methods and um, yeah it was very stressful i kind of freaked out a bit about it like trying to get in contact with customer support it was too late in the evening to get into contact with anyone like after six or something and yeah that wasn't really an option so i just had to had to accept that uh, that uh, happened and uh, wait for things to work out the next day thankfully since i know that people who want to buy the book from me they want to buy it and they're gonna come back when you know things are working again if this had been like a more regular store opening let's say i was like trying to sell fashion or whatever people normally do when they open a just a regular online shop and they don't necessarily have like a, their own fan base for the thing that they're selling like if i was doing that and i had spent a lot of time and effort and maybe money advertising a grand opening day and people weren't able to buy anything because credit cards don't work like that would have been such a disaster I, I don't even know what I would be doing in a situation like that crying most likely <laughs> this was not bad enough for me to cry like very stressed but um, I was able to just continue on and uh, hope that the next day it would be fixed and it was fixed the next day so it was just the launch day that was not great and i was very happy with my 12 first orders that first day so i of course went uh, and started packing them up and getting them ready to be sent off actually let me show you guys around my packing station it's not the 
corners one. It looks like this. Uh, the table is a little bit too small and I can't fit anything except the wrapping paper, brown craft paper, um, some envelopes, and that's it. I have my labor printer <laughs> over there on the boxes and I'm gonna put my laptop there too and hook it, hook it up to the labor printer once I start doing that. But first, let's just package some books. <laughs> so yeah, I would like to wear gloves, but the thing is, uh, I have some round little stickers that I want to use to seal the package. And uh, never mind, um, very easy to peel with the gloves on. So I'm gonna go with the gloves so that I don't uh, get cuts and bleed over stuff. Because of when I'm in the moment of the work, um, I have a tendency to well, not really lose feeling, but I stop paying attention to any pain in my hands and or the fingertips, and then I don't notice that I got a cut. And uh, yeah, let's not have that happen. So, gloves. I might try to get some more delicate ones. These are like construction working gloves, as you can see, I have some paint on them, or dried paint from when I was renovating. But yeah, let's uh, try this out. It took me a few tries trying to remember how you were supposed to wrap an item and uh, yeah the first few were like super slow and they ended up being really crooked and stuff. Of course not suitable to be sending out, I had to reopen and repackage the first like three I think. But pretty fast I remembered how you do it and uh, got into a nice groove of things and uh, I could just relax and listen to YouTube and Twitch stuff for a few hours and, well not a few hours the first time, like half an hour, <laughs> but just relax and uh, put things into nice neat little packages. I really enjoy this kind of stuff, like um, just mindlessly doing something like on a conveyor belt while I can just think and uh, not have to focus so much and not really worry about doing things wrong because it's pretty difficult to put on a sticker the wrong way on a package, right? So yeah, it was uh, it was enjoyable. I like this part. Alright, it is update time and I have managed in the last hour to wrap a good amount of these. There's 20 here. And I think there's about 15 back there. It's not bad. And uh, I figured out how to make them look not so horrible. I actually opened up the first few ones that I made, like five, that were crooked and I couldn't figure out how to get them look uniform and nice. And uh, then I got the technique down, folded them like some sort of nice meat that you would buy at the store <laughs> nice slices of expensive salmon slices or something that's what this reminds me of yeah i really like how they look and uh, i'm gonna continue with putting them into their cardboard envelopes now and see how long that take take takes all right i'll see you later here we go we have 20 books packaged up and that took about 35 minutes, so we're up to 55 minutes from start to this point to package books. Just decent for 20, 20 packages. I can live with that. Of course it's gonna take some time to print out the shipping labels and stuff, so that's what I'm gonna do next. And I'm not gonna film it because I might accidentally show everyone's addresses and uh, let's not do that. <laughs> so I, I'll see you guys later. So the launch of the store had been on Thursday, I think, last week. And um, Thursday evening, very late. And on Saturday I took the first batch of books to the post office when they were ready to be sent off. And uh, it was like 12 of them, I think. All of them to Finland because that was the day when nobody else could buy anything. And um, I had actually uh, over the weekend or middle of the weekend, by then I had gotten way more sales than I had 
anticipate for. We had hit a hundred books sold and uh, yeah, I had to actually close the store down because I was not prepared to do more than that and uh, yeah, that was like really nice but also I felt bad for people who were hoping to still buy one after the weekend but uh, I had to focus on getting all of these done and I was so nervous going to the post office on Saturday because I've never before print printed, printed out shipping labels that I paid for online and uh, I was pretty certain that there was going to be something wrong with them like there's no way I could have done it properly right and I actually had a little bit of a scare at the counter because the lady who um, was gonna scan the barcode she like put the scanner on top of it for the first package and then she, she hesitated and she stopped and she had to call over another person and obviously I was like oh no there's something wrong with the barcode but no it turned out she was just like a newer worker and she had never she had also never dealt with a prepaid package that uh, she had to scan so she had to actually ask another worker if she was supposed to scan the big barcode or a small one so that was all fine all of the first orders went out perfectly I actually had a second scare on the next day when I went to drop off a few more orders because that batch had the first uh, international orders and uh, the labels are a little bit different looking than the domestic ones and this time the person who was scanning the orders was uh, uh, like a man who I believe is like the main senior worker of the post office uh, where I go and uh, I figured like he's not gonna have any problem scanning these different barcodes and uh, that was wrong because when he got to the first international order uh, he would like scan the barcode, look at his screen, touch screen, computer screen, whatever and then he would tap at it and rescan it and look at it again and try to scan again and then he would like turn it around to a different angle and cover part of the barcode with his other hand and like scan it again and train a bunch of different angles like several times and eventually he just turned the package upside down and put it aside <laughs> and obviously at that point I was super sure that there was something wrong again with the international barcodes but no, once again it was fine and the only problem was he said that uh, uh, like it scans fine, um, all of the information comes up and gets uh, tracking everything, but it just won't give him a receipt. Re receipt? Receipt? So that was fine. Just had a super, oh no, I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> kind of moment for, uh, I don't know, half a minute there. But uh, yeah, it was all fine. The labels work. And then I could continue on to pack the big batch of orders like the remaining 70 or something all right time for a update i think it's sunday today it's two days since the shop launched and i have now closed it and uh, because we have reached a hundred orders and uh, i don't want to do more than that yet because the point of the soft launch was for me to figure out what works what needs working on what i need to buy more of and uh, stuff like that so yep this is about 100 books a little bit less i took um, 12 books i think the post office yesterday the orders that came in during the first few hours that it was open and uh, just made sure everything as far as shipping labels worked and stuff and it was fine so now i'm gonna do the big batches next week i'm gonna test out the post offices um what's it called no top level that would be like the pickup service so i'm gonna take some of them to the post office and some of them they're gonna have to come and pick up so that they don't need to clog up the uh, counter <laughs> uh, of course uh, these still need to be put into their envelopes and stuff so that's my next 
piece of job that I will be working on. But I thought it was a good spot to do an update right now. I taking I'm taking like a little break to rest my little hands for a moment before I continue. And um, I'm also using this time to kind of plan out what I want to do as far as uh, uh, improving my packing station. Can I actually zoom out a bit? Yeah, that works. Um, because it is quite uh, <laughs> a makeshift. Um, obviously, I need a lot more space for things. And I have built tables from the boxes. And um, let's actually go through what I figure out that I need. Everything is, by the way, a disaster. I just have stuff all over the place. So, yeah, I need a lot of stuff for making this a more usable space. So, um, this table, I actually like the size of it. Uh, because it fits the main packing area really well. And what I want behind it is... Um, space for me to put books as I wrap them like this because this works really well like I have um, over here plain books no signatures and those are gonna be the most common ones as you can see about half a little bit over half the orders of those and then I have as you can see I have like uh, notes letting me know which are which <laughs> so I don't put into wrong files then I have uh, or this is gonna be like sign books Right now it's the doodled books, so signature and a sketch. And then I'm going to have, a, a, well, now it's the sign books, but it's going to be the doodled ones. So I want, like, a, I can't have shelving because they're way too heavy. They're going to break it. And I don't want, like, metallic industrial shelvings. That would be too gross. So I just want to have, like, a divider system, something to keep the piles from tipping over and um, something for them to stand on so that they can reach them and um, yeah basically it's something here to keep the books nicely in their categories and uh, that's gonna be that and then I need over here obviously I place for oh I don't want to be in the shot <laughs> from my very glaring uh, laptop but yeah I need a diagonal shelf for label printer, laptop, and I'm gonna need a another printer that is not a label printer for like customs uh, uh, papers and documents because they need to be printed a bit uh, on like uh, sheets of paper. So I'm gonna need that. I need somewhere to put all of these uh, closing stickers, uh, book plates with the signatures and the sketches, somewhere to put these uh, tape machines, my scissors, like this is a disaster area. I really need space over here. So that's what I need here. A diagonal shelving unit thingy where everything can have its own little spot and uh, yeah, not be in the way because they can't be on this packing table. It's, it's not big enough for that. And then uh, under the table, I'm gonna keep the uh, boxes and envelopes and stuff like that and whenever I need more of something I can just grab a handful and move them over probably to the same shelving unit here and uh, that's gonna be that and then over here uh, what I want to have is another shelf probably a similar one to these that are my storage area <laughs> units um, there I want to put like smaller things that are not the books uh, in the future I want to have like stickers and postcards and uh, patches and whatever it is that you guys uh, end up wanting, wanting. and uh, yeah that's what I want to have over here on a shelf and like little envelopes to put them into just a easy place to grab them for printing not printing uh, packing and uh, I don't think they're gonna take too much space compared to the, compared to the books. So I think just one shelf is gonna be enough for them. And of course, back here is what we're gonna have the, you know, all of the books in the plain state before I package them. Just sitting there waiting. 
So that's what I'm thinking of. Just uh, spent the last couple of days uh, figuring what I need. Because you really need to do packing a little bit to figure out how you really need your setup to be. I don't know if you can hear that, that it's kind of raining a lot right now. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so you, it's really hard to kind of pre-plan what kind of setup you need because you there's a bunch of stuff that you don't figure out that you need until you actually start doing it like these things i wouldn't have remembered that i need them or the closing stickers or you know how big is the label printer stuff like that so um, i guess it's good that i can have the weight to figure it out now because I was actually planning on uh, earlier this spring to go to Ikea and buy like different kind of shelving units. You know, kind of build it before getting to this stage. But uh, then the corona situation happened and Ikea closed. <laughs> so I haven't actually been able to go yet. And I'm not sure if it's open yet. But I think it might be. So it's actually kind of good that I didn't end up going there yet. So... Because now I kind of know what I need. But yeah, that's the situation over here. I am going to continue putting these into their packages and envelopes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to start doing. Probably going to spend a few hours. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Then I ran into the next big problem. And uh, right when I had packaged up all of the big batch books and I started printing out the shipping labels, um, that stopped working. The online shop program stopped completely generating shipping labels. And it was like past midnight and I was super tired and I was trying very hard to not freak out again. Big problem. I was going to start printing out the shipping labels for stuff, and uh, yeah, the place where the labels are supposed to print from and where I pay for them and claims that the stuff that I paid for don't exist. Basically, this is what I get when I click on print the label and uh, it has taken the money from uh, my account for the shipments and everything looks correct. It's just uh, something is wrong somewhere and I don't know if it's a problem with the end place, which would be the post office, if they have a problem sending back information. Or if it's uh, the middleman ship it, which deals with it, or if it's the... Uh, web store application that's like a three step situation and i've sent a problem help request to the web store application people and the ship it people and if neither of those can help then i guess i'm gonna have to contact the post office like one worked, five or four did not, and I'm not gonna keep trying anymore because I'm afraid that I'm just gonna have to pay for a bunch of packages that I'm never gonna get a shipping label for. So I might have to figure out a plan B how to ship everyone's stuff if uh, there isn't a solution. But everything worked so well two days ago and then something's broken. I'm catastrophizing again, thinking that it's something that nobody can fix. Surely it's just a downtime for one of the three different uh, servers of the services. And uh, yeah, I'm just basically, all of my tabs are like trying to find any notices of um, who has a problem. Like have a, uh, like, I don't know what the words are in English like the customer support tabs open <laughs> for every place. Just trying to find uh, any note anywhere that there's like a downtime or anything. But no, I mean, it's the middle of the night. Everyone else is sleeping. I guess it's my fault for being a night owl and sleeping or working at two in the morning. 
so he can't really get any customer support and uh, this is the time when I guess it's most common for like server problems to be right middle of the night updates and stuff happening so yeah hopefully tomorrow I will get uh, someone will get back to me and maybe it will be fixed and I can actually start shipping out things for people uh, I have let's cover the address <laughs> one package <laughs> that actually managed to print out and it wasn't like even the first one or the last one that i tried it was the um like one in the middle so definitely seems like there's some sort of server problem like there was nothing special about this package it's just uh to sweden i tried another one to sweden exact same right after it that one didn't work to finland didn't work to estonia didn't work so yeah something is wrong somewhere I'm very annoyed and I'm gonna go home and sleep now. So yeah. <sighs> I slept so poorly that night. I basically just kept waking up every couple of hours, just worrying about it. And obviously I just had to wait until morning to for anyone to be able to get to work and get back to me. And I actually woke up right uh, around 9 in the morning again after sleeping for maybe four hours sleeping in quotes and uh, by that time when i looked at my phone and um, i actually had emails from both of the customer supports the web store support they said that they're gonna look into it immediately and the shipment integration service ship it got back to me and told me that they know what the problem is and the problem is that they have a problem with uh, a service called Unifound which is actually a go-between between between them and the post office so there was like a fourth part in between there and Unifound was having a service issue and they just had to wait for them to fix something and they're gonna get back to me when it's done and thankfully you know, that was enough for me to be able to go to back to sleep <laughs> and actually sleep for maybe a proper four hours or five or whatever. And um, when I woke up, it had been fixed. I got emails back letting me know that uh, it was fixed. And I was super relieved. I was able to get back to work. Like, I'm always really worried that when something like this happens, I always assume that I've done something wrong. Like, I've broken something and nobody is gonna be able to help me because I've broken something so badly. <laughs> so it's always like a huge relief hearing back that uh, something else is broken and I'm just gonna have to wait. I'm fine with waiting as long as I know what's, uh, what's wrong and that something can be done about it. So that was fine. I was able to get back to uh, printing out shipping labels during the day and uh, Unfortunately, I ran into another problem <laughs> after I had gotten the first like 10 labels printing out <clears throat> uh, A storm arrived in town and uh, the electricity went out for most of the day and I wasn't able to print out anything else So that was the next problem <laughs> Alright, update It's raining. <laughs> I'm in my car on the way to the post office I managed to get this many done because it is a storm today and the electricity went out which means I couldn't I couldn't print out any more shipping labels and now I just have to wait uh, for the electricity to be fixed in the area and uh, yeah I can continue tomorrow <laughs> I suppose oh well at least as 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 least at least i got something done and i can send another batch out but yeah it's like a sudden storm of lots of wind and like super sudden heavy rain that comes and goes like a few seconds here and now the sun is shining <laughs> the rain stopped and it's nice again and uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll update you guys uh, later. Thankfully, that evening 
the electricity was fixed, the storm was mostly gone, and I was finally, after so many delays, able to actually print out the labels for the last big batch of orders. They hadn't been that delayed, thankfully, because I had been mostly working during the week weekend, so they wouldn't have been able to go in the mail immediately anyway. I had hoped to send them out on like Monday and Tuesday, but it ended up being like they were ready for Wednesday instead. So no biggie, but it's such a relief to actually be able to sit down and work without something going wrong. <laughs> oh, look at that emptiness. I have managed to pack and label all of the packages that are going out. By the way, if you're noticing like a weird thing over here in the corner, uh, I dropped my phone and I broke the camera. <laughs> Enough that it uh, has like a weird shimmer on it, uh, which isn't great because I use my phone to film my like my drawing videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh well, I'll I'll figure something out. Oh, it was an expensive one. I specifically bought the one with a good camera to be able to do the filming on it. So, uh, yeah, kind of sad about it. I just realized it because uh, they hadn't actually filmed anything since I dropped it. Kind of bummed, but very excited about this. And um, look at these piles. This one here on the left. No, that's the right. On the right side, uh, everything is going to Sweden. On this side, everything is going to Finland. And I'm kind of surprised how close they are to each other. Like, I thought they would be way more going to Finland than to Sweden. You know, domestic orders. But no, I guess uh, yeah, Sweden is catching up. Catching up. I did have the first day when the payment processor were, was broken. I got... Uh, you know, all of those were only from Finland, so it would be like another uh, 10 orders to Finland. So I guess it would... It is a bit more than to Sweden, but pretty close. And I think there were like two to Estonia. Those are already on the way. So yay! Lots of orders. And uh, obviously I am not going to take these to the post office. <laughs> um, I am going to order a pickup from the post office and uh, for Wednesday it is Tuesday morning right now like uh, 3 in the morning or something so I'm gonna order one uh, for tomorrow and hopefully they will be able to come and pick them up um, plan B because I have to have a plan B for everything because I, I am very paranoid about things not working uh, if for some reason they can't come and pick these up I have looked up where the business uh, center, like the closest one for the post is, and it's about an hour away in a city, and uh, yeah, if the pickup doesn't work out, I will put these in my car and drive over there and uh, hand them over. So yeah, another good news is uh, um, I just checked the tracking information of the things that I sent out uh, on uh, Saturday. Uh, obviously they didn't move anywhere during the weekend but um, yeah they have now on Monday they have gotten registered and uh, even taken all the way to the next logistics center which is like a four hour drive away in southern Finland in Vanta. So yeah that's uh, very good, because I was really nervous, of course, about there still being something wrong and they would just not go anywhere. <laughs> but no, they are now moving and uh, I am eagerly waiting for the first one to actually arrive to someone. Hopefully in the next uh, couple of days. Yeah. I am super tired. This is my limit. I can't do more than this in one day, honestly. So I have to keep that in mind for the future launches of uh, how long things will take and how much I can do at once. But yeah, I will check in with you guys later and 
try to figure out if I can do anything to fix my camera. <laughs> I don't want to buy a new phone. Oh. All right. Really good news. The post person was just here with the truck and picked up all of the remaining orders. 65, I think, was what was left. And yeah, I didn't need to take them to the post office or anything. I just had to schedule a pickup window, like a four hour time between which they will come and take the things. It's cost some money. I don't know how much, I don't remember. So it's not like worth to do for like 10 packages or anything, or maybe even 20. I think at that point it's better to just uh, endure the post office and drop them off there. Obviously don't have any orders to package anymore, but I can, I can work on preparing for the next opening of the store. And um, the thing I've been doing is just opening boxes and uh, yep, taking out books. <laughs> Because it's a surprisingly time-consuming, um, what's it called, like a task. We don't think taking out books out of boxes and uh, checking them, you check in the covers. Like for everyone, I kind of like pick them up and I open from both sides. I check that the inside is uh, not upside down because that is possible to happen. And uh, I can make sure that I don't like feel or see anything wrong. I also need to order more <laughs> all of the stuffing and tape of the boxes that I'm opening. <laughs> I'm gonna save the stuffing um, for future orders because I'm gonna surely need it to use in my packages. So that's gonna be saved. Tape obviously going in the trash and I'm gonna need to order a bunch of uh, packing supplies. This is all I have left. <laughs> I really I thought I wouldn't get so many orders so fast and uh, yeah 100 was my limit because uh, I really didn't have much extra in sense of anything, materials or stuff or time but uh, it was good. It's a, it's a great relief to have uh, like four sign books over there and a little bit of extra but yeah it's a great relief to have those 100 out and uh, it didn't take so much time, it's, uh, yeah, this is doable. Just small openings, don't take on more orders than I can handle at a time. Get it done in a few days and then get back to regular work and uh, keep the store closed for a few weeks or a month or two when I want to. Yeah, that's the update. All the orders are out. I think the first orders from a few days ago are starting to arrive was so I'm not tracking that a couple of people had arrived at their post offices and are waiting for pickup so I'm very excited to see um, people letting me know that they have arrived and I hope they are in good condition. <laughs> All right I'll see you guys later. Also in case you're curious yes I'm watching um, Age of Empires 2 Twitch caster the gameplay <laughs> while I'm working it's it's really good uh, background noise. I like the caster T90 official. He has a really relaxing uh, way of casting games. But yeah, in case you were wondering what the heck was going on in the background, that's what I'm watching. <laughs> and that's it. I am now just making sure everyone's packages arrive. Uh, I'm gonna send out things if people's things arrive broken or just get stuck somewhere for a month and you never know with the, the situation. I'm still waiting for a package that they ordered like three weeks ago, paid express shipping from abroad to have them here in time for the store launch. There's some stickers that I needed and it has still not arrived. So, you know, things can take fairly long when you don't ship within the country. But uh, other than that, I'm just gonna take the next little while to work on the comic again, not worry about the store stuff, figure out what I need for the next larger opening for a few more countries and uh, yeah, let things just kind of roll on without worrying about anything for a little bit. I'll of course update you guys on what's gonna be happening when I decide on anything. 
And um, yeah, the comic break is ending this week. Next week we're back to normal updates, which is obviously why I have to stop doing store stuff for a little bit. We're just gonna draw comic stuff. And um, should we end the video with a quick little kitty update? A lot of people had asked if she's still using the bed that I bought her a little while ago. And surprisingly, she is! She is enjoying it. Most mornings she is sleeping in it. Because, you know, she has a vantage point to see when I wake up so that uh, she can come and uh, ask for breakfast immediately. And uh, she seems to be enjoying it. So, good purchase. Kitty actually enjoyed something I bought her and didn't stop using it after the first two days. <laughs> so, that's all the updates, I think. And uh, I, I guess I hope you enjoyed drawing in the background too. And uh, I'll see you guys next week with comic updates. And of course I'll be streaming on uh, on Saturday as normal. And, uh, and Friday. And uh, on my Twitch. So, see you then. Have a good day.